Hey girlies, I hope everyone is doing really, really well. Welcome back to my vlog channel. Today we are doing another edition of TBR Jar Helps Pick My Reads for the Month. It is gonna be March, it is Pisces season. My birthday is on March 9th, so if you wanna send me a book for my birthday, I do have my Amazon wish list in the description box. You don't have to. Just throwing it out there but happy pisces season to all my fellow pisces out there we are the best i hope you guys have an amazing birthday but today we're talking about books so i actually had to switch out my tbr jar i put it into this green jar because the last one i had i dropped it and shattered it but to compensate i did add a bunch of new prompts to help fill up this jar so i'm super excited to pick out my reads for the month now what we can go ahead and pick our first prompt A seasonal book for the current season. Okay, so it could be spring, it could be winter. I'm gonna go with the writing retreat. It is still technically winter at the time of filming this. And obviously you can tell by the cover that this is definitely giving the winter snowy vibes. This is a thriller about a group of authors that go on a writing retreat and something goes wrong. I don't really know much else besides that, but I love having a short little thriller on my TBR for when I want something fast paced and Thrilling. Prompt numero dos. Okay, I'm just, <laughs> I don't know why I just cringed myself out by doing that. Like, why did I whip out the Spanish? Book with a pretty cover. Oh, I have a lot of these. I'm a big cover buyer. It's kind of a problem. For a book with a pretty cover, I'm actually not gonna go with a cover buy. I am going to go with Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas. This is the last book in the Throne of Glass series. It is the last book I need to read before I finish the series. And I mean, this cover is stunning. I love it, it's gorgeous. So it works, it fits the prompt and I definitely plan on reading it this month. I've actually already started and I'm about 200 pages in, but I'm vlogging the entire rest of the series, I believe from Queen of Shadows through Kingdom of Ash all in one big vlog that's coming very, very soon. So stay tuned. But yes, gonna put this on the TBR. Prompt number three for book number four. This little guy. A book under 300 pages. Nice, I love me a short little quick, quick read. I'm going to put Always Been You by QB Tyler on my TBR. This is a special edition I got in the dark and quirky booktube box that they did and it is so beautiful. There's even like special art prints and everything. There's page inserts. It's autographed. It's, it's Gorgina. I don't know much about the actual plot other than it is a taboo romance and it is like 240 pages. So right under the 300 page mark and I haven't read any of the books from this collection. They're all sitting right here. So good to get started. And this is definitely the shortest one. So next prompt. I don't know why I feel like I need to put my full arm in every time. I can make it a lot easier on myself and just pick one off the top, but an indie romance. I might wanna pick one on my Kindle for this. This prompt is actually harder than it used to be because I feel like so many Kindle romances are getting published. So there's not many indie authors anymore. Like they're all getting publishing deals, which I love, I love but we gotta find an indie author, okay. I am going to put Ivy by Devani Perry on my TBR. I honestly know nothing about this other than it sounded really intriguing when I saw it on Amazon and I bought a copy months ago and it's just been sitting on my TBR taunting me. Not only is Ivy my favorite Taylor Swift song, but I think this is sort of like Gossip Girl-esque. It's definitely set at a prestigious university and there's drama, there's romance, there's suspense, and I'm into it. Our fifth prompt is, oh, kind of a long one. Oh, book by an author from your home state. Okay, so they have to be from Utah. And I do know of a few authors that are from Utah and live in Utah. I can think of two off the head, two off the top of my head, Brandon Sanderson and Christina Lauren. I'm going to put the exception to the rule by Christina Lauren on this list. This is a little romance novella that they published in like this huge romance collection. I have the ebook and the audiobook on my Kindle. So I feel like I can get through this. I love Christina Lauren. They make really, really fun contemporary rom-coms and I'm excited to read more from them. And the last prompt 
That I'm going to select. I want to select one of these big ones down at the bottom. Hold on. The last prompt. Dun, 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 dun. A book that is out of my comfort zone. Okay. Okay, we're broadening our horizons. I'm a little bit scared. A book that's out of my comfort zone that I really wanna pick up is The Lightning Thief, the first book in the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. I grew up never reading middle grade fantasy. I was only reading like John Green, Pretty Little Liars. I missed out on the Harry Potter, the, the Percy Jackson, the Star Wars. I just did not really get into any of that, any fantastical stuff until I graduated college. So I wanna go back and read some of the classics and I'm gonna read the Percy Jackson series. It sounds super interesting, but middle grade is definitely not my comfort zone. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm looking forward to it. And my boyfriend Josh is gonna read this with me. So I'll have someone to like buddy read and talk about it with. So that's gonna be really, really fun because we're both reading the series for the first time. Here are the books on my March TBR. We've got quite a range. We've got thrillers, we've got romance, we've got middle grade, we've got fantasy. And I love it. That, my friends, is going to be it for this little TBR video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Do be sure to comment below and let me know what books are on your TBR for the month. And if you want to join my book club and come read Divine Rivals with me, you can also do that in the description box. But hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!